Good morning from Quiberon, France. Today I'm heading to the island of Belle-Ile, which is the largest island in Brittany. Uh, and we are starting the day here by the harbour. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump on that boat. So let's get out there. I'm taking the first boat for the day that leaves at 8.15. A one-way ticket for an adult costs 15 euros and you are able to purchase the tickets online. Uh, you're able to do this on a day trip. I'm doing this in one day. I'm taking the last boat back which leaves at 6.30 in the evening. So we have a full day exploring Belém. the same roads every day We both get there our own way this I made it onto the boat and as you can see masks are required and uh, also good to know is that there are uh, boats to three different islands from the harbour that you can take so just make sure to take the right exit so that you get on the right boat uh, there is seating inside, uh, outside on the roof, and then uh, also lots of seating uh, outside without a roof as well. Uh, and uh, we have a beautiful sunrise uh, that's coming up over there. And then we have a little way, way in the distance there. And the crossing is about 45 minutes. And then we will arrive to the uh, main city of the island, which is called Les Palais. So I'll see you there. But we both grow from the same sorrow. If we both know we'll be together tomorrow, I can be like a tree in the wind. Same old roots, but I can bend, turning to understand and sway together. So now we have to take a bus to actually get the car. So I have now picked up the car and driven to the first spot for the day. Uh, but as you can see, I've rented the blue summer French beach electrical car. So it's totally made out of plastic. <laughs> Uh, which makes it very light and there are no windows um, and it's a detachable roof and uh, Yeah, we have a little boot area and then we have a back seat here uh, and this is the the front seat driving area so far It's run really smoothly uh, They said that it has a capacity of 150 kilometers so you can get around the island twice This first spot that we've come to is called Herlin and it has this beautiful small cove beach and a lookout point, a hiking trails and the cliffs. Um, so you, there's a parking at the top, you walk down the small path down to the beach and then you can walk up to the lookout point and you also have the cliffs here. Okay. So we're going to drive to the second spot. Yeah, I'm going to show you how uh, the uh, car works. So you get a um, card here and there is a thing here where you have to press the card to be able to, to start it. And you just put the key here in, in there. And then we have neutral, reverse and drive. Charging plugs. And here is like for AC, I think, but yeah, it's we're not really in need of that. And then here we can see the um, the charging. It's at 89%. I also really like the color of this car and that uh, the interior is uh, like a jeans material. So yeah, that's cool. So we're heading to a place called Port Coton. It's 10 kilometers from here, and it takes approximately 16 minutes. So let's go. And these 
these villages are very, very beautiful. They're filled with white houses with blue shutters, which is very typical for Britain. So the meaning of Belil is beautiful island in the sea. And that is really, really true. Many famous people have, through history, actually had spent their summers here or have had their summer residence here, uh, like Claude Monet, where many of his paintings were inspired by the beautiful green nature and the blue sea. Uh, and also the actress Sarah Bernard, uh, where she actually restored a fort, I believe, where we're going to be heading to later today. Um, but Port Coton has the Côte Sauvage, which is the windy coast of Belle-Ile, where big rock formations uh, are placed and the rough sea. Uh, this beautiful, beautiful cove here behind me, uh, you can actually walk down to the beach and we have two very, very brave individuals who are swimming in the rough sea down there. And also be very, very careful and cautious here. As you can see, there is absolutely no railing or anything stopping you from falling a painful death down the cliffs. Um, so be very, very careful. Um, but yeah, wow. And here we have the famous lighthouse in Port Coton. I have driven to the Donne beach. Uh, where I'll be stopping to have my lunch. So I found a little nice spot here uh, in the shade where I can have my lunch so I don't burn. So yeah, let's have some lunch. I made it to Point Palais and here is the summer residence of the famous French actress Sarah Bernard and uh, it was finished in 1904 and uh, yeah it's here where she spent the summers um, and today it still remains and uh, also in the background we have the Pont Palais lighthouse which also is very very beautiful and well kept. I'm on my way to Zazon which is uh, another town but I thought I would try and find a beach along the way and I uh, just rode in the beach and I parked the car and there's no signs or anything but I'm walking on a path here and hopefully it leads to the beach and I think it does so it's nice Okay, it's quite nice to get in the water uh, it, It's been a very very warm day and also uh, on this island it's so windy so in many places there are a lot of waves this was a really nice secluded beach. I'll put in the name of it here um, if you want to find it as well. Because uh, yeah, it was not a lot of people and very secluded. And now I need to swim. <laughs> and refreshing and I'm so happy that I waited uh, and didn't do it at lunchtime <laughs> but I did it at this beach instead because uh, yeah it was really really nice and now I need to uh, dry off a bit here in the sun some kind of uh, movie production going on and uh, also a tip if you're looking for public toilets uh, in this part of France there's usually ones at the uh, harbour uh, free of charge so yeah here by the harbour in Zizon there are free toilets and uh, it's the same in other places in Britain. The uh, town of Zizon was absolutely beautiful it's filled with uh, cute uh, colorful houses um, yeah 
Yeah, so it was really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, it's a very small town. I think it only had a few uh, restaurants and maybe one shop. Um, but yeah. It is time to head and leave the car now. Um, unfortunately, I really enjoyed driving this. It was so much fun. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend the Blue Summer if you're on Belil. It's really fun and a unique experience. And if uh, anyone is concerned regarding the electrical charge, it does get you very, very far. Um, I've been driving the whole day and it's still at 64%, so that is really, really good. We're now back to where we started in Les Palais. It's also a very beautiful little town with small shops, restaurants, um, and things like that. But it's a bit more crowded here. Uh, so I'm going to take the boat back now at uh, 5.30. I am now made it back to Giberon <laughs> and uh, it was absolutely a lovely day on Belil. Uh, I can highly recommend it. And uh, remember to uh, like this video, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I really appreciate it. So I'll see you next time.